Welcome back to KTR Videos. Today's tutorial is on an adorable little Shopkin from the Tropical Collection whose name is Little Ukulele. So come on, grab your paper, your pencil, and anything you want to color with, and let's get started. Okay guys, so when it comes to a pretty complicated drawing like this, um, the best thing I can recommend is starting um, slow and piece by piece. So we're gonna start off at the top, of, with the top of the guitar, so, or ukulele I mean, <laughs> sorry. So we're gonna start off by making a slightly curved line like this at the top of your paper. And from here, we're going to make a slightly curved line down, or not completely down, kind of like, kind of like this, kind of sort of like starting a circle. So it curves downward and off to the right. All right, over here, same thing, but it's more at an angle, like a sharp angle, kind of like that. Okay, now let's draw a straight line across, can, um, and stop right before it touches the other side. So as you can see, I left a little gap and that's because we're gonna draw another little curve like this to start making this ukulele look 3D. That's what we're doing here. All right, now we're going to um, very slowly sketch a line down. And now let's draw a diagonal line inward like that, just a small one. Okay, here we're going to draw two circles. So just take your time, make them as even as possible. There's one and two. Feel free to pause the video if you need to, by the way, okay? All right, and from here, we're going to come on this side and we're gonna draw a small straight line down. Like that, and now we're going to draw um, two more half circles this time. So like what I'm doing here, like that. Okay, um, from here, let's go ahead and draw a tiny, tiny little dash, and then another line inward like this. And now another straight line down. See, can you see it coming out now? Okay, this side, draw another diagonal line inward, and then another one straight down. Taking your time, and do it lightly, so if you make a mistake, you can erase it, okay. Now we're gonna draw four circles in here. There's one, two, three, and four. Okay, now we're going to draw the strings in for the ukulele. So on the top ones, you're just gonna start from their um, sides, um, like I'm doing here, just lightly sketching them in. Um, and then the two bottom circles, the strings start right there in the center, at the bottom though. Okay, like that. Now I'm going to erase just a tiny bit to make it all even and a little bit shorter, like this, okay? Now from here, we are going to start making the body of the ukulele. So we're gonna curve a little bit like I'm doing here, coming around. Now we're gonna do a little bit of a dip in there and then come out a little bit wider this time around. It's almost like an eight or peanut shaped. That's the body of a ukulele. Okay, from here, we're going to draw another curved line. We're doing the same thing, actually, but we're just doing about an inch um, away from the original that we drew. So this will give it the 3D effect. Okay, so kind of like what I'm doing here. Same thing we just did a moment ago. And now let's go ahead and connect here by drawing this line. Maybe make it slightly curved as well, like that. Okay, then from here, we're gonna jump to this side over here, um, having it line up with the top part that we did there. And uh, we're going to start doing the same thing on this side. So we're gonna just curve around, making the body. Let me do a little dip down here and then make my way up. Sometimes I have to do that to make sure I get it um, perfectly round here. Um, and if you make any mistakes, just erase it like I'm gonna do right now. Perfect, okay guys. Um, and then from here, let's go ahead and continue making it a little bit wider and making our way down. As a matter of fact, I don't think that's wide enough, so I'm gonna have to fix that in a minute. All right, let's go back up here and we are going to start curving down until the line meets the um, body that we just drew, like that, okay? All right, from here, let's. Um, I'm gonna fix this real quick. I just need to make it a little bit wider than the top part. Okay, 
Um, let's go ahead and draw a line here connecting those two pieces and now let's draw the hole or the circle of the ukulele. So let's just draw a circle like this leaving a little bit of space on all of its sides. So not too big but not too small either, like that. All right, perfect. And from here, we're gonna draw a little piece where the strings are going to attach to. So we're going to make a straight line going across, and then draw a line down, slightly curved, come across a little bit, then stop. We're going to make a semicircle here, a little bump, and then continue and drawing another line to connect it. So it's kind of like a rectangle with a little bump at the bottom or, or a semicircle. Okay, from here, go ahead and uh, finish these strings up. So we're going to continue them on until they reach that little piece that we just drew in. Uh, my camera stopped on me, so I have to redo the flowers, but we're gonna add two flowers in here. And um, it's nothing nothing too complicated, guys. Just your typical uh, petals that are like semi-circles here or half circles, um, mini clouds even. Um, and then just do a little center piece, like a little uh, circle in the center. There we go. And do the same thing over here. Like this. Perfect, okay. Let's go ahead and finish up the body here. So we're gonna round out a little bit and we are going to st uh, start to draw a straight line across. Let me go ahead and move this up for you guys a bit here, like this, so you can see what I'm doing here, sorry. And then come back to this side and just finish it up. So round it back. And then uh, we're gonna do the same thing here, starting at these flowers here, leaving it about a one inch gap to give it that 3D effect. We're just gonna round, around, and around, and it lowers and lowers and lowers until it merges with the bottom. And so it becomes one, like that. Perfect, okay guys, let's go ahead and draw the hand in. The hand is um, kind of like a half of a bean. So it's kind of like a bean shape type of thing right there. And then the other one starts about here and we're just gonna loop around, kind of like a cylinder here. But I think I need to make mine bigger, so I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, like this. So round it up more. And the feet are pretty simple. So we're just going to start here and we're gonna come around and stop at the center or maybe a little bit before the center. And same thing on this side, but it comes out a bit more. So we're gonna come here and come out and around like that. All right, the eyes, they sit about here, leaving a little bit of space from its side or from its hand even. And we're gonna draw a nice round circle. It might take more than one um, um, chance to make this and that's okay, just erase it and do it again. All right, let's do this again. This took me about two or three tries to get the circles nice and round, so don't feel bad if you need to pause the video and do it again. All right, now I'm adding the eyelashes. As you know, there are three eyelashes. And now the eyebrow. And now I'm gonna draw in the iris, which is simply by making a semicircle or curved line inside the eye. And now the pupil. And then another circle inside as the glare spot. Okay, same thing on this side, eyelashes. And then let's draw in the iris and the pupil. And of course, a little circle inside, like that. All right, the nose is super tiny, kind of sits towards the bottom of the eyes and it's like a semicircle, but a tiny one, like that. And the mouth, we're gonna start here close to the right eye and we're going to slowly curve down and run parallel to the nose but a little bit below it, like this, okay? And um, we're gonna come back to the right hand side of the mouth over here in the corner and we're going to loop down. And then over here, back to the other side and draw another um, line connecting it, like that. All right, and then another curved line for the tongue. And there you go. All right guys, so this is the drawing portion of the video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you were able to do it along with me. If you want to color her in with me, then go ahead and grab your crayons, your markers, or your pencils and just keep watching. 
All right guys, so I will be using colored pencils and markers today. And the colors I will be using are a pink marker, a black marker, a blue colored pencil for the eyes, pink, red for the tongue, an indigo blue or dark blue, a aqua green but a darker one, and then a lighter mint or aqua green but just a lighter one, a pink, light pink for her cheeks, and a light lime green or a bright green for the um, upper portion of ukulele, a little ukulele. <laughs> Okay, let's take our black marker and we're going to trace um, the eyes and color in the eyelashes and then color in the pupil. Just be sure not to color in the little glare spot here. So like that. And same thing in the other eye. We're gonna trace color in the eyelashes and color in the pupil. Perfect, okay guys. Um, from here, let's take our blue pencil and we are going to color in the iris. Now I'm going to go ahead and just draw a tiny, tiny little curved um, space here um, to leave a glare in the iris. You don't have to do that. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about here as I color this in, it'll pop out more. Um, but I'm just leaving a little bit of white in there. You can skip that, that is not necessary. So there it is, that little white spot I'm talking about. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Like that. Now the other one is a bit thicker so I might have to even that out later. But anyway, let's take our green marker and I'm going to trace her entire body. Not the flowers or um, that little um, piece that the strings attach to, but just everything else. So the entire ukulele part, the body. And her nose and her mouth and her eyebrows as well. Like that. Let's go ahead and take our black marker and we are going to go ahead and trace all of these little circles here as well as the strings of the ukulele and um, we're also going to trace that piece that the strings um, attach to. This piece right here. Now let's take our pink marker and we're going to trace these flowers that she has. And now take our red and we're going to color in her tongue. And now I'm taking my, um, my indigo blue or dark blue and I'm gonna color in her mouth, the inside of her mouth that is. And uh, now I'm taking my black and I'm going to color in this piece here. And then I'm also gonna color in these circles that we drew up here, the little knobs. Okay, now let's take our bright lime green here and I'm just gonna lightly uh, draw in some lines here so I know where to stop. And I'm just gonna start coloring in this top portion, just like this. And you make it as bright as you want. And you know what, I'm stopping here for a moment, guys. I forgot to draw in a line. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my green marker here and I'm just gonna very carefully draw in a line that goes down here and draw another line to attach all of this. I don't know how I forgot that, but I did. <laughs> all right, now back to my uh, lime green here, my bright green, and I'm gonna just color this in. Like that, okay. Now I'm taking my light green. This is like almost like a mint green or a aqua type green. I'm gonna color in her entire body but leaving the circle alone. And I'm gonna probably end up adding about two layers, meaning I'm gonna color this two times to get it a nice solid color. Perfect, okay, now take your darker um, shade and we are going to color in this entire um, half here. So all of this up here and then below the flowers as well. Including the hands and the feet. Okay, now I'm taking my indigo or my darker blue and I'm just gonna add a little bit of color up here because that's where the shadow really hits hard. So right up here. 
and then going back to my darker green and I'm just gonna add some more coloring in basically I'm just trying to color all around her but leaving the very center of her face light now I'm taking my pink here guys and I'm adding um, a little bit of color right below the eyes back to that dark green just coloring and coloring leaving the center alone All right, guys, now I'm taking my indigo blue and I'm coloring in this little portion up there. And back to my darker green, again, coloring all around the face, but leaving the center alone. And back to this indigo blue. I'm just going to trace this, you guys, retrace it, because that green was blending in too much and not really making anything pop. So, all right, that looks much better, doesn't it? Okay, now keeping that blue, let's go ahead and just shade just this the right hand side and the bottom portion um, and up along this side as well, but that's it, not, not the whole thing. Take your dark pink and color in the flowers. Like that. And now this part here, the circle, let's draw this uh, left hand section and then a tiny bit along the way over here, like that. All right guys, well that's it for the drawing today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you were able to draw this adorable little ukulele from the Tropical Collection. Um, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button so we know and if you want us to work on another drawing for you, leave the name in the comments below. Well guys, until next time, bye. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video and want to see more like it, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out our Spanish channel.